Hello everyone and welcome back, it's your boy Yahya. In the last two tutorials, I showed you how we imported our project from 3ds Max with DataSmith and then I showed you how we got the latitude and longitude of Berlin to get the accurate position of the sun in this day. To continue our tutorial series, what we are going to do next is assigning some textures. To do that, let's just go to our project where we have it. Let's make a new folder and call it materials. Let's make something called master or master materials right click again and let's create the material here I'm gonna call this one M stands for master and I'm gonna call it base I will double click it to open the material editor Unreal Engine comes with a robust and powerful material editor if you are working with 3ds Max slate editor or Maya's hypergraph you should be familiar with the with this workflow here I will not go in depth, if you want to learn more about materials uh, or anything, you can get our master class on Gumroad. Okay, to just, I'm gonna press and hold V on my keyboard and I'm gonna add this parameter. It's Victor constant for parameter that we can edit later and I'm just gonna call this guy color. And we will assign a value of 0.7 for now. Not white, not black. And I will assign this basically as a environment texture on all the buildings and everything for now so when we bake the light things will just look pretty if you remember our project frankfurt i did basically the same so if you remember this project we are basically going to achieve the same uh, look of the exterior with slight improvements okay i'm going to press and hold s on my keyboard to add a constant one parameter and i will call this roughness I'm gonna set it to a default value of 0.4 and pipe it to the roughness value here. This is our basic material now and I'm gonna make a new folder, call it instances. I'm gonna right click my master material here, create a material instance and I'm gonna press MI stands for material instance and I'm gonna call it just white and I'll move this guy here. So when you press shift and hold on any button here or any arrow you can basically collapse everything beneath it. I will select Y environment and I press Ctrl Shift D to select here. However, you cannot see the material because we have two types of different actors selected. We have static mesh actors and we have the data math scene actor. So if you just deselect this guy, you can now assign a material. You need to select it first. And now let's assign it real quick. What can we also do to assign our material to every static mesh in our project except for the building? I am going to hide the building level from here. And we cannot see anything because we don't have sun anymore. But if we go to unlet, we have all these static meshes. And it seems here we have overlapping meshes. You can click on any actor and you can select all similar actors by pressing Ctrl Shift A. And this will select every single static mesh in our scene and we can assign our white texture the reason i'm doing this is because i'm gonna bake the light later and i want things to look pretty so i'm gonna unhide my persistent level let's see why do we have overlapping here quick tip if you don't want to find the pivot if you press ctrl and then your left mouse button, it will move on the X axis. If you press your right mouse button, it will move on the Y axis. And if you press both mouse buttons, it will move on, you guessed it, Z axis. So now we have like this little mesh that we can just delete. And I think we should not have overlapping anymore. If you go to Google and search for Quixel or just go to quixel.com, download Quixel Bridge and once you have it sign in with your epic account so you can get every single asset for free once you sign in with your epic account you will have access to all of these for free what i love about quixel guys they update this library daily like almost every day you see new assets and if you go back in my videos you would see like here we used to have 9000 a few months ago and now we have like 14,500 these guys are working hard so we will go to weather collections we can go select environment then urban environment and we can uh, what city street this is gonna be very very i am excited about finishing this project so let's 
select an asphalt road here just as a placeholder download it in 2k don't go crazy at the beginning of your projects like 4k or 8k 2k is fine let's export this guy Megascans made two folders for us it made Megascans folder with all the assets we will see later surfaces 3d models uh, decals and whatnot and the mega scans presets and this guy have all the material functions we will need later it's just pretty cool it has all the material functions we use in our master material in in here the mega scans default material so if you double click and instead of like super big crazy node of networks like this stuff we just have everything inside a nice neat material function which is super cool. I don't want to advertise a lot, but if you want to learn about material functions and whatnot, I'm I'm also covering these in the master class. The at the moment of making this tutorial, the material functions tutorials are not up yet, but they will be soon. So you will learn how to make all of this from scratch too. Now, once we have our asphalt road, press Ctrl Shift S to save everything. Let's just check how it looks. Alright, we do have our displacement that is saved in the red channel. And this is why it looks red here. It's a grayscale image and for compression stuff, we're using that red channel only. In your displacements, just make sure that the sRGB is disabled and we are using... Hmm. I usually set to grayscale, but I'm gonna leave this as default and ask about it. I should Google this. Anyway, <laughs> if one of you guys knows, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I will select all the streets in my project and lucky me if I just copy this name and go to the word outliner search and I just shift and select all the streets and assign my texture like so we would have our street texture assigned everywhere and ignore these guys for now because I will be fixing them while we go see perfectionism is the enemy of good so let's just make a good project and we can worry about making it perfect later The reason we are assigning textures is because once we build later with the GPU Baker, I don't have the GPU Baker enabled now, but the GPU Baker at the moment, the official one from Unreal Engine 426, it will ignore any mesh with the word grid material and it will be completely black. Let's start texturing the facade guys, shall we? Let's save everything first and let's go back to bridge and in the search bar here I'm just going to search for facade and I'm gonna also type surface so we don't get any 3d assets and let's go down this stone tiles facade looks good let's download this let's also download this see how it's gonna look let's click export and let's click export you can actually select multiple assets at once and export them all together without clicking export individually. So for example, you can select this guy, press shift and select or control actually and select whatever assets you like. You can download all and then export all. Let's click save. One thing about our asphalt texture, I think it's 2x2 two two meters and I have my UV mapping on my meshes 1x1 one one meter. So this here grid, like this texture, it's 1 meter by 1 meter. So the texture is not gonna look right, it looks smaller than it should be. So to adjust this, let's just double click the asphalt texture and let's go to global and in the global the tiling offset the tiling x and y let's just make it half the value and now our texture look better and we cannot have one texture assigned on on this large surface because as you can tell almost no matter how perfect your texture is it's still gonna look like repeated right 
so later we can mix between textures it's just gonna get spicy guys now I will select my facade like so all of these are isolated I can press again ctrl shift a select all of my textures and we have multiple types of textures as far as I remember we have like this one should be black this one should be color and I have special type of UVs for different for the old textures so I will assign uh, UVW box mapping again no problem 